right, so I probably should have started filming at the start of this job. This is really fascinating, so I decided to start the camera up. Obviously I'm replacing this side panel and the inner wheel arch. So I've got these two pots. This is 50 pounds, the inner wheel arch. This was a similar price, so it's gonna cost you about 100 quid per side. And that fits something like that. Something like that there. I cleaned these, degreased them because they had sort of oil on them. And then give them a spray coat of primer first. This is what my welder told me to do. I'm not a welder for anyone who hasn't seen my channel before. So this is not a how-to video. This is more of a vlog. I've never done a job like this before. And I'm by no means a professional or even experienced to be honest with you. I don't know if this has ever been done before. Well, I don't know if the inner has. I know the outer has. This is a previous patch panel, but this is completely rotten. I think you'll agree. This is in dire need of replacing. I am doing both sides, but I started on the worst side. All I did really is I put a nice neat line there with the angle grinder. For this edge, this is kind of spot welded there, so I just prized the patch panel away and then cut the spot welds down there. The bottom wasn't even welded. This is mostly just sealant down there that wasn't even welded. Took the light off and the bumper off, of course. Chopped down here, down here, and along there. And this is just about ready to come off. So we need to chop this inner wheel arch out. If we look here, the wheel arch has got sort of this Mohican type structure there. And that's actually made up of two, two parts that are butted up against each other. This needs splitting. And we're gonna be removing the outer part of that. Okay, so it's definitely not going to be easy to separate these two surfaces away from each other. Unfortunately, they're spot welded together. You can sort of see these little dimples here and here. Spot welded, plug welded, I think it's called. Yeah, they're plug welded. I think my best bet probably, I'm going to get the angle grinder and just cut below where those plug welds are. So I've test fit the inner wheel arch and the outer panel here and nothing lines up perfectly. There are gaps everywhere. It's one of those things where you push it in there and it pops out elsewhere. These panels do not fit perfectly. I mean that's as far in there as it can go and that is a huge gap there. You've just got to work around these kind of things, they're not perfect. Yeah, a bit of a gap there. But I can only spend so long trying to get it perfect. I've been at this 
for about an hour or so, just trying to line it up. I think what I'm going to do is tack the inner wheel arch into place. <laughs> Now that that inner wheel arch is in its place, nice and securely, I can take off the outer panel and then weld this in properly, weld it from the underneath. That inner wheel arch is now welded on, nice and solid, again not the not the prettiest weld in the world, but that's strong enough. I've also welded that onto the wheel arch. I'm going to go around this, well I'm going to primer it again, paint it all up, and then there's going to be some sealant, probably use tiger seal, that'll go all round, probably from the underside. Okay, it's the next day, and this is looking real nice. Even though it's not on yet, it's so refreshing just to see no rust. Just shiny metal, or pretty much no rust. I've cut this a bit higher, so let's have sort of a, a little V shape indent there. I've chopped halfway along the bottom edge of that, and that's gonna have a slight amount of overlap. I've done the same with the panel here, so I chopped off this and that's going to sit on top of that ridge there, I'm going to use that as a guide, I'll probably tape it in, tack it on in a couple of places uh, and then work my way around, I'm not going to put heavy welds on any one place because then the heat of it is going to start warping the metal. Mind you, not that this metal is the correct shape anyway. It's a bit rubbish. It's too big at this end. So the van ends about there. And I've got a centimetre or so of overlap. But I think I'm just going to deal with that when it's on the van. I might end up just cutting a little bit and bending it round or whatever. So yeah. Time to test fit it and tack it up, I guess. So that's currently held on with tape now. Seems to fit pretty well. I've got that overlapping there. That gap. There's nothing I can really do about that. So I'm just gonna be hammering this closer to that and welding it onto it. it seems to fit a little bit better at the bottom when I push it in like that. the overlap at the, at the end there. I'll just deal with that once it's in place. I had to fudge it a bit underneath. I had to cut all this out. I mean this whole area I welded a few weeks ago so it's not quite the correct shape anyway. But I'll just fill that, that's non-visible that area anyway. The bumper goes over this whole area. As long as it's strong and welded. That uh, looks all right, I think that's going to be pretty good. Time to tack it in place now. I keep saying that. Just another note before I weld it on. I've cleaned up, put coo rust on any remaining rusty areas and resprayed them to keep them protected. I also put primer along this edge and along the inside edge of this panel as well. You can weld through primer, so my welder has told me and that's going to keep those areas a little bit more protected. Um, obviously I'm not going to be able to get paint on that after it's welded in place. So primer, primer, that cleaned up. So now I'm going to tack it into place, I promise.
Okay, so that's welded on now. Uh, my welds aren't going to win any sort of beauty contest, but uh, I'm pretty happy that it's nice and solid, welded into place. What I'm going to do next is grind down all of those with the angle grinder, all of the welds, get them as neat looking as I possibly can, depending on how it looks. I might be doing something with body filler just to hide them completely. Not quite sure yet. Okay, let's not look too closely at those. For the grinding, I'm going to be driving somewhere away from my neighbourhood because I've been making an awful lot of noise the past couple of days. Um, so I'll show you after that's done. Back from the grinding and unfortunately I'm not going to be able to get this looking good enough just grinding it so it's going to need body filler this edge here looks pretty good but yeah the uh, the welds along there you just can't grind in that corner close enough really unless i spend hours at it didn't really bother under there just welded it up in a few spots Now for some top coat. Again, it's getting pretty late here, so I'm gonna call that a day for today. I'm gonna get the sliding door back on, which is always fun. And then I'll continue tomorrow with the body filler for there. Also two, two holes here, I'm not quite sure why they are there, but I'm going to probably fill them with fiberglass P40 and then I'll probably try this body filler for the smaller welds to hide them. Stephen likes it at least. Okay, day three, and today is just going to be about body filler in those holes and a couple under there, more body filler to cover the welds, and then just some tiger seal sealant around any remaining gaps. I might put some tiger seal around the gap between the inner wheel arch and the panel. So not perfect, it took me absolutely ages to sand this down. I've had it for about two hours. I took the time to take all that old paint off with sandpaper because it wasn't adhering properly to the metal. I think my mistake is I failed to scuff up the surface when I first got this panel. I just cleaned it down and started putting primer on it. But lesson learned, that's all sandpapered down now, so... Take two with the paint. So, that's another job done. I think it looks alright. Apart from the uh, paint mismatch. I might do something about that at a later date. Not too worried about it at the moment. I've covered all the inside there with protective stone chip shield and I've filled the gaps with tiger seal. You can see that sealant stuff there. I've also filled the gap between the inner wheel arch and this with tiger seal. 
the inside. Yeah, you can see the uh, tug seal there. Use quite a lot of that because there were a few gaps. Yeah, pretty happy with that. It's taken me three full days work. Um, I do work at quite a slow pace and I had to do things like sand this down again, which took extra time. But all I've got to do now is do it all over again. And I really can't be bothered. <laughs> all right, see you soon. Cheers.